हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज नियति सईद योर ऑनलाइन एजुकेटर माय टॉपिक फॉर द प्रेजेंटेशन इज द कॉकरोच मॉर्फोलॉजी दिस इज द फोर्थ सेक्शन ऑफ द स्ट्रक्चरल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन एनिमल्स सो कॉकरोचेस कॉकरोचेस आर ब्राउन और ब्लैक बॉडीड एनिमल्स दैट आर इंक्लूडेड इन क्लास इंसेक्टा ऑफ द फाइलम और थ्रोपोडा ओके रिमेंबर स्टूडेंट्स आई हैव टॉट यू फाइलम ऑर्थोपोडा इन द एनिमल किंगडम यू कैन रेफर दो स्लाइड्स ब्राइट येलो रेड एंड ग्रीन कलर्ड कॉकरोचेस हैव ऑल्सो बीन रिपोर्टेड इन ट्रॉपिकल रेशन जेनरली दे आर ब्राउन और ब्लैक बॉडीड एनिमल्स ओके दैट आर इंक्लूडेड इन द क्लास इंसेक्टा ऑफ द फाइलम ऑर्थ्रोपोडा their size ranges from inches to um, you can say to 3 inches okay or you can say 0.6 cm to 7.6 cm and they have long antenna as you can see these are its antenna okay they have legs they have flat extension of the upper body this is your, this is the flat extension of the upper body wall that conceals head they are nocturnal omnivores that means they come out in the night time and they, they live in the damp places throughout the world they have become residents of human homes and thus are serious pest and vectors of several diseases okay so uh, this was uh, all about the cockroaches now that it belongs to the phylum arthropoda class insecta genus is periplaneta species is americana okay now systematic position as we know that cockroaches they belong to the kingdom animalia okay and to which phylum arthropoda ortho means jointed and poda means legs so they have jointed appendages body is very chitinous and segmented that means it has a chitin layer on its body okay it belongs to the class insecta that means they possess two pairs of flight appendages wings and three pairs of walking legs genus is periplaneta that means straight wings are there they are nocturnal that means they come out only in the night time and chewing type of mouth parts are also seen in this genus okay and a species is americana that originates in mexico and usa okay so this is our periplaneta americana and this is blatata orientalis okay Periplaneta americana it is very lighter in color as i have told you that they are light brown or very lightish brown bodied animals okay and uh, they are black uh, but blatata orientalis they are very dark in color periplaneta americana they are about 38 mm long okay and what about this blatata orientalis they are about 25 mm long now what about uh, the wings wings are present in both the sexes okay in in the both the sexes of the periplaneta americana and ex and uh, extend beyond the posterior end of the body this is the anterior and this is the posterior end okay so wings uh, they are extend beyond the posterior end of the body this is the posterior end okay and what about the blatata orientalis wings are rudimentary in the females that means in female it has vanished but in males they are present in females they do not reach the hind end of the body in the male okay what about um, see in females in female blatata orientalis the wings are rudimentary but in males it is present but it doesn't reach the hind limb or the hind end of the body in the male okay
So, cockroaches. Cockroaches are omnipresent. That means they are usually found in warm, dark, damp places such as kit kitchen, storehouses, manholes, etc. And that's why they have become residents of the human homes and thus they pose a serious pest problem. And they are also the vector of several diseases. When I say that they are nocturnal, that means they are very active at night and they come out for feeding. During a daytime, they hide themselves in the cracks and services or under the objects in kitchen or cupboards. Okay? They are omnivorous. Omnivorous means that they feed both on plant as well as animal materials. Like humans, humans are also omnivorous. Okay? That means they also feed on plant as well as on animal material. They are cursorial in nature. That means they are fast runners. They are very fast runners. Okay. They have wings and they can fly but rarely do they exhibit their ability to fly. Okay. They can fly because they have wings but they rarely uh, exhibit their ability to fly. Okay. Now it is same that they are cursorial, they are omnivorous, they are nocturnals, they are very active in the uh, night time and they come out for fooding. They are omnipresent and that's the reason they pose serious pest problem and they are vector of several diseases and uh, they uh, live in the damp areas throughout the world. They have wings but uh, they can fly but they really do they exhibit their ability to fly okay so this was all about the cockroaches now come to its morphology morphology means a study of external features okay a study of external features of cockroach so the adult of the common species of cockroach that is Periplaneta americana, they are about 34 to 53 millimeter long with wings that extend beyond the tip of the abdomen in males. Okay. They, uh, they have a dorsoventrally flattened body as I have shown you in the first pic. They are reddish brown or you can say they are brown or black bodied animals. Okay. Their length ranges from 3 to 5 cm and their breadth uh, ranges from uh, 1.5 to 2 cm. They are bilaterally symmetrical. That means uh, when you cut them in any plane, it divides into two equal halves. Okay. If you divide it from, suppose from this plane, then it divides uh, or equal, uh, divides into two equal halves. One part is this, one part is this. They are trifloblastic and coelomate. Okay. That means they have cavity in their body. They are waterproof because they have chitinous exoskeleton. Okay. Chitinous exoskeleton means the exoskeleton which is made up of chitin with hardened plates called sclerites. Each segment is subdivided into four plates. Which are those four plates? First is your dorsal tertium. Second is your ventral sternum and two lateral pleurons. So these are the segments which are divided into four plates. First is your dorsal tertium. This is your dorsal tertium. This is uh, and then comes ventral sternum. This is your see. This is your sternum. This is your tertium and two pleuron. The, uh, these black one are your pleuron. Okay, the, they are two lateral pleurons. So now come to body divisions. Okay. As we know that the entire body is covered by a hard chitinous exoskeleton. So this is your exoskeleton which is made up of chitin. Okay. And which is brown in color. And in each, uh, see, the, the, it has three division. Head, thorax and abdomen. This is the abdomen of the cockroach. And this is the thorax. And this is the head. Okay. 
In each segment, exoskeleton has hardened plates called sclerites. Okay, called sclerites. That are joined to each other by a thin and flexible articular membrane. Okay, uh, I haven't uh, shown in this diagram, but it is there. Now we'll study head, thorax, and ab abdomen in detail. Okay, so head, head is ovate. They are flattened. They are dorsoventrally. They are pear shaped. Just like a pear fruit, okay, which is attached at the right angles to the thorax by a thin, narrow, and movable neck. This is the neck, okay, or you can say this is the head, and this is the neck. So, uh, thorax and head are connected by a neck which is flexible in nature, or which is movable neck, which is also known as cervicum. Okay, this is our cervicum that moves the head. Okay, head is formed of six sclerites. Okay, which uh, you can say sclerite is a hardened plate. Sclerite is a hardened plate. So, head is formed of six sclerites, and these fuse in adult and form the head capsule, and thus head is formed. When six sclerites or six hardened plate fuse, then they form a head capsule in adults. Okay. Now, head bears four important parts, which are those. Remember students, uh, cockroaches don't have simple eyes. They have compound eyes. The head is made up of compound eyes, antennas, fenestrae. Okay, these are fenestrae. These one, this uh, circular one, are your fenestrae. Okay, mouth parts or trophy mouth parts. Okay, so head uh, bears four important parts, which are those compound eyes, antennae, fenestrae, and mouth parts. Okay. Now let's see its morphology. They are nocturnal, they are omnivorous, uh, that means they feed on plant and animal material both, they live in damp areas, adults are about 34 to 53 millimeter long, body is covered by a hard brown chitinous exoskeleton. In each segment exoskeleton has hardened plates which we call it as sclerites and they are joined by a thin and flexible articular membrane okay they are joined by articular membrane and uh, body has three regions head thorax and abdomen now now comes thorax we have already studied head okay now comes thorax and after thorax will come abdomen now thorax thorax has three parts prothorax mesothorax and metathorax okay so um thorax it uh, is made up of three parts prothorax mesothorax and metathorax okay the head is connected with the thorax by a short extension of prothorax known as neck see this is our head and this is our thorax and uh, head and thorax they both are connected by a neck okay neck is known as prothorax what it is called as it is called as prothorax each thoracic segment bears a pair of walking legs okay that they bear that they bear uh, walking legs okay and then comes mesothorax this is our mesothorax this one is our mesothorax okay and then comes metathorax just below mesothorax there is a metathorax okay so the first pair of wing arise from mesothorax see the wings has arise from the first is your mesothorax and and then what happens Second pair from the metathorax. This is our metathorax and this is the, our second wing. Okay. Four wings that is mesothoracic called tegmina. Okay. These are known as tegmina. This wing which arises from the mesothorax is known as tegmina. Okay. And they are opaque, dark and leathery. Okay. And they cover the hind wings. 
see these are the hind wings and it covers the hind wings when uh, at rest okay and the hind wings they are very transparent they are very transparent you cannot see uh, it just like that and they are very membranous and they are used in flight okay they are used in flight what about uh, hind wings hind wing uh, we also call it as metathoracic what we call it as meta thoracic and they are also two in number they are transparent they are membranous and they are used in flight okay now comes abdomen so just after thorax what comes abdomen abdomen in both males and female they consist of segments in females uh, it is a sternum is boat shaped and together with the sterna it forms a brood or genital pouch okay genital pouch lies at the hind end of the abdomen which is bounded dorsally by 9 to 10 terja okay these are known as terja so don't get confused with the tegmina and terja terja are the uh, you can say the segments of the abdomen part okay and tegmina is a mesothoracic wing we call it as okay so genital pouch it lies at the hind end of the abdomen bounded dorsally by 9 to 10 terja this is 9 to 10 terja and ventrally by 9th sternum it contains dorsal anus ventral male genital pore and gonapophyses it bears a pair of short thread like anal styles which are absent in females okay now let's see one by one all in detail mouth they are for chewing and biting type because they are used for masticating the food okay they help in breaking the complex food into the uh, simpler food okay so head he, uh, under the head mouth comes okay head is triangular in shape and it lies anteriorly at the right angle to the longitudinal body axis okay so um they are um, uh, these are uh, movable means mouth of the cockroach is movable it has segmented appendages which assist in ingestion of food that means in in taking of food okay food parts of the mouth now what are the parts of the mouth labrum maxilla mandible and labrum so these are the four parts of the mouth now we'll study labrum first labrum is also known as upper lip it is flap like or shield like and it is movable in nature which covers the mouth from the upper side thus it form anterior wall of the mouth cavity it is also useful in holding of the food during feeding it bears on its inner surface a chitinous ridge called epipharynx okay and the epipharynx carries the taste receptors see like humans they also cockroaches also have taste receptors now come another food part that is mandible labrum we have already studied now comes mandible mandible is also known as true jaw they are two dark hard chitinous structure with serrated margins with teeth present below the labium okay on either side of the mouth and they are useful in cutting or crushing the teeth okay so they are true jaw which help in the crushing of the teeth of the food sorry then comes maxilla maxilla is a third mouth part labrum and max uh, mandible we have already studied now comes maxillae maxillae are also known as accessory jaws they are paired appendages they are situated on either side of the mouth behind the mandible okay just behind mandible maxilla are there mandible what is what the mandible is mandible is our uh, true jaws and maxilla what they are uh, they are uh, are accessory jaws okay each maxilla is 
mainly is many jointed structure with maxillary palp these are also called as first pair of the maxillae okay now comes labium labrum is the upper lip what is uh, labium is labium is uh, lower lip okay labium is a lower lip and it is also called as second maxillae which covers the mouth from ventral side and is firmly attached to the posterior part of the head it has labial palp which is three in number and they are jointed they can sense anything because they have sensory receptors in it Labium that is lower lip is useful in pushing the chewed food into the preoral cavity and thus it prevents the loss of food falling from mandible during the chewing okay i have taken this from the dr rf's uh, content okay now comes hypopharynx hypopharynx or the tongue is along uh, prominent medic Uh, medially placed appendage and it hangs in the preoral cavity just in front of the labium be, uh, between the first maxillae it receives saliva from the salivary duct and directs into onto the food okay then comes thorax thorax is your it is made up of three segments first is your anterior prothorax middle mesothorax and posterior is metathorax the exoskeleton of each segment is made up of four sclerites i have told you that its exoskeleton it is made up of chitin and chitin and each segment is made up of four sclerites sclerites are hard plates which are those four sclerites one dorsal tergum one ventral sternum and two lateral pleurons i have shown you in the diagram okay remember and um, what about mesothorax and metathorax so they bear a pair of spiracles okay i have shown in you in the diagram in the previous diagram and they have walking legs also and the dorsally a pair of wings are also present now come to its wings wings dorsally the thorax it bears two pairs of membranous wings fore wing and hind wing okay so two wings are present first is your fore wing and second is your hind wing fore wings they are first pair of dark opaque thin wing thick wings which are protective in function okay they are very protective in function what about hind limb they are unlike fore limbs they are very thin they are broad membranous they are delicate and they are transparent second pair of wing which is attached to the tergum of the metathorax these are useful in flight and that's the reason hind wings are also known as true wings now comes legs three pair of legs are present on ventral side see cockroach has a dorso ventrally uh, flattened body so that means it has dorsal as well as ventral side right so uh, in the ventral side it has three pair of thoracic wings each leg uh, is five jointed or segmented and is covered with the sensory bristles and spines that means it has bristles that ha they, that are um, sensory in nature that means they have sensory receptors on the bristles they can sense we very easily and each leg uh, leg has five podomeres namely coxa trochanter femur tibia and tarsus that means each leg has five podomeres i repeat coxa trochanter femur tibia and tarsus tarsus is the last segment and is made up of five movable segments or tarsomeres and last segment of the tarsus it bears a pair of claws which are helpful in 
clanging. Okay. Abdomen. Abdomen is the largest of three regions. Which are three regions? Head, thorax and abdomen. And abdomen is the largest of three divisions. And they contain most of the viscera. Its segmentation is conspicuous both dorsally and ventrally. Abdomen consists of 11 segments of which 11th is reduced and fused with the 10th. That means the 11th segment has been fused with the 10th segment so that a maximum of the segments are distinct, defined and visible. Dorsally, each segment is covered by a tergite and ventrally by sternite. I have told you that they have tergums, dorsally and ventrally they have sternum. So, dorsally each segment is covered by a tergite and ventrally they are covered by sternite, sternum. Okay. Laterally, tergites and sternites, they are connected by unsclerotized flexible pleura. I have told you that they have two lateral pleuras, right? You can... Uh, see to that diagram where I have shown you the four parts the tergite, the sternum and two lateral pleuras. Okay? So, tergite and the sternites they are connected by pleura, two pleuras. Cockroach, now uh, what about their sexual behavior? So, cockroaches they exhibit sexual dimorphism in males and uh, anal styles are present in segment 9. But these are absent in females. Most abdominal segments they lack appendages but segment 10 bears a pair of large segmented cerci that is also called as anal cerci which is visible in both dorsal and ventral views. These are sensitive to air movements including sound and perhaps to ground vibration also. Genital openings are present and different segments in both the sexes and surrounded by chitinous plate in both. Okay. Now comes antenna. So antenna they are paired. They are long, they are slender which are present in the head and they are filamentous and many jointed structures present between the compound eyes. I have told you that cockroaches don't have simple eyes. They have compound eyes. They are lodged in the membranous pits called antenal sockets. That means they are uh, they dug uh, behind and forms an antenal sockets and uh, on that they are lodged in the membranous pits. These are the tactoreceptors or the organs of olfaction. Olfaction means a sense of smell which is useful in localizing the food material in the vicinity. Antennae have sensory receptors that help in monitoring the environment. And uh, then comes fenestrae. Fenestrae are also called as oscillo spots, which is situated at the base of each antennae and they bear as white spots and they are very sensitive to light. Okay, they are situated just at the base of antennae, that means just uh, in the membranous spits on which the antennae are lodged. Okay. Now, what's the difference between male and female cockroaches? Male, they are very larger in size. Female, they are little smaller in size. In males, wings extend beyond the tip of the abdomen. And in females, they do not extend beyond the tip of the abdomen. In males, they have very narrow abdomen. As you can see that they have very narrow abdomen whereas in female they have a very broader abdomen in comparison to males. Anal style is present. See this is anal styles are uh, which are present and in females they are absent. Brood pouches 
or you know or you can say uh, genital pouches they are absent in males but they are present in females okay so this was all about the morphology of the cockroaches in my next section of the presentation we'll be studying about its internal structure that is anatomy of cockroaches so till then stay tuned and keep watching edupedia word videos